Recently, D5 2.0 has been released with the latest version of its RTX powered render engine to provide excellent rendering, so let's unveil what's new in this release. D5 is actually coming back strong where they added more than 13 new updates. It had about 13 new features, we will mention among them duplicating video clips, redesigning the UI where the layout of the main interface adopts a new design, a new tool to track scene resources and FPS, also a path tool that supports drawing paths of vegetation, in addition to character and vehicle modes respectively, with different parameters for path types and much more. Slow 3D rendering has always been the bottleneck that can slow down any workflow. For that, D5 Render focuses the most on enhancing and refining the rendering. In this series of updates, it got a bunch of new options for rendering including 3D grass materials, weather system for clouds and one for wind, temperature parameter for emissive materials, in addition to supporting up to 16K export for photos and panoramas, plus a set of optimizations for productivity such as supporting the newest fidelity effects super resolution technology from AMD, bringing higher frame rates and better edge details, both in preview and rendering. This version also contains optimizations for the algorithm to load saved files and solve the problem of the model or the material loss, also optimization for the artificial light sources where the scenes with multiple lights shall no longer lag. Assets also got their part of improvements in this release where outdoor models for architecture scenes were added. In addition to nature category including low poly trees, dead trees and stumps, rocks and fallen leaves plus a piece of interior furniture and accessories. Also particle assets such as fountains, waterfalls, smoke, fireflies, etc. A new setting preference is also added to migrate all online assets, also local assets, custom HDR and IES files, and temporary caches. Additionally, it has optimized the movement and behavior of character models, where it added animation for finger details and fixed the issues with collision, sliding, speed mismatch, and so on. D5 Render 2.0 also focused on fixing the previous version's bugs to make it better and more efficient when working on your projects. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.